Have you ever wondered what bottles to get if you can't find E.H. Taylor Small Batch? Let's find out. What's going on everybody? Nathan here with The Everyday Drinker bringing you guys a brand new video. Today we're going to go over my top five bottles of bourbon that I think are on the same level, the same wavelength as the E.H. Taylor Small Batch. Now this right here is a bottled in bond 100 proof small batch bourbon and it's a darn good pour. It really, really is. And the one thing that this bottle has going for it that a lot of people really like about it is that it's from the Buffalo Trace Distillery. And I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret here that there are better bottles of bourbon out there than this. Now, before we get into the video, I wanna remind you guys that 3,000 subscribers, I'm letting you know what the 5,000 subscriber giveaway is going to be, so make sure if you are new, you drop a like, you hit the subscribe, and if you want to, leave a comment down below and let me know that you have hit that subscribe button. And also, make sure you check out the Patreon down below. The Patreon is absolutely amazing, helps the channel out like you would not believe. But without further ado, let's get into bottle number one. Bottle number one goes to the Smoke Wagon Small Batch. And this right here is a 100 proof bottle of bourbon and it is darn good stuff. This right here is an MGP source bourbon. Smoke Wagon is out of Nevada and they do some darn good things out of there. And this small batch right here, one of my go-to bottles on bottle number two or three since picking up my original bottle. And I still always get this really nice white pepper spice at the back end of the finish on the back of my tongue that always makes me want to come back for more. I don't know if it's the, 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 the bourbon that they're sourcing from MGP or if it's the style of barrel that they're using, the char level or whatnot, or just because it's being aged differently out there in that hot, dry area of Nevada. But that white pepper note following the sweetness of the caramels and the beautiful, beautiful sweet oak that you get from this bottle right here. I think this right here is hands down one of the better bottles that are going to be on this list that are better than the E.H. Taylor small batch. Bottle number two that I think is a little bit better than the E.H. Taylor small batch. Price is starting to rise a little bit on this bottle. And I know it's one of those bottles that it's a difficult one for some people to find and people don't appreciate the price rising, but everything nowadays is rising in price. And that goes to Henry McKenna 10 year bottled in bond single barrel. Now this right here, because it's a single barrel, these will differ in flavor profiles most of the time. I have had a couple of pours from a couple of different bottles and all of them have been fantastic. And I know that previous years, this bottle right here has been under scrutiny because it is so vastly different from bottle to bottle. But I can tell you this right now, I've had a couple of pours from several different barrels from this, this age and up that I don't think that you should have to worry about that bottle being a bad bottle. That I think that this bottle right here is worth that $65 and under if you can find it. I know it used to be cheaper, but everything is rising. $65 or less for this bottle, I think is a fair price. Bottle number three goes to Knob Creek nine year, or if you can find it, the 12 year. I think that this right here is a darn good pour for $35, and it definitely edges out the E.H. Taylor small batch. This right here is 100 proof, nine year aged bourbon, $35, $36 you can find it for, and it's a darn good mixer. This one right here, I have no problem mixing, sipping it neat, drinking it over at rocks, doing whatever you wanna do with this. This right here is one of my workhorses on my bar, and I will stand by it till the day I stop drinking bourbon, till the day I die, whatever day comes First, this right here is one of my workhorses. That right there, not so much. Maybe if I can find it readily available, it might become a workhorse, but I think the flavor profile of this Knob Creek nine year with that very, very sweet uh, caramel, there's a really nice burnt vanilla in there, and then it has this really, really complex fruitiness at the end there that I really, really enjoy, and I think it just edges out that E.H. Taylor a little bit. Bottle number four is one that came out this year and we already did a review on it and I absolutely love it. And you all know I absolutely love it because I said it was bunker worthy. And that bottle goes to Bardstown Weeded Bourbon Bottled in Bond. 
Now, this is the black label from the Origin series, and this bottle right here is delicious. I'm gonna tell you that again. This bottle right here is delicious. One of my absolute favorite pours at the moment. I'm sipping it slowly, but I'm gonna have to get another bottle of this because this one is so good. And I think being at a bottle in bond at that $50 mark, this is a six year aged bottled in bond. This one right here is 100% better and more worth your while and money to pick up over the E.H. Taylor small batch. And bottle number five is a duo. It's a brother brother kind of situation. And those bottles go to Wilderness Trail. Now, Wilderness Trail is absolutely amazing. They put out really, really good juice. This one right here is gonna be your original sweet mash. It's going to be your corn, rye, your malted barley. This one right here, the yellow label. This one right here is gonna be a little bit more softer on those notes because it's their weeded bourbon. It's gonna be your corn, wheat, and malted barley. I absolutely love both of these. They're both bottled in bonds. Absolutely delicious, delicious pours, as you can see. I'm down to the bottom of both of these bottles. I'm gonna have to get new ones here eventually. But I've always been on the, the kick of these Wilderness Trail bottles. This one right here, you're gonna get a little bit more of a weird funk, but I love that funk. And this one right here, really, really nice sweet corn note in there that is absolutely delicious. So if I had to pick one out of these five, six bottles on the shelf that I think you should definitely pick up over top of the E.H. Taylor small batch, it's going to have to go to the Bardstown Origin Weeded Bourbon. This one right here, I think, kicks off that E.H. Taylor like you wouldn't believe, and it is a delicious pour that I will be sure to get another bottle of, and I will stand by that bottle to the day that bottle is empty. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because this was a really fun one to think up of. I know a lot of people look for this E.H. Taylor small batch, because of one of two things. It's really cool bottle, it's got the tube, you know, you really, a lot of bourbons don't have the tube, and the tube is very eye appealing. And number two, it's from Buffalo Trace. And a lot of people get blindsided by that Buffalo Trace name and the bourbons that they put out. And there are much, much better bottles of bourbon out there than Buffalo Trace. Now, Buffalo Trace is delicious, but there are other delicious bourbons out there that I want you all to know about. Now, let me know down in the comments what bottles of bourbon you prefer over the E.H. Taylor small batch. But until next time, this has been Nathan with The Everyday Drinker. Cheers.